let's talk about choosing to hold your tongue. And this one's really, really important. It's gonna serve you very well if you really just pay attention and choose to hold your tongue. So I have a philosophy. When I'm thinking about something or somebody upset me or, or something's not going perfectly right or the way I want it to go, you have to stop and ask yourself. If you happen to say how you're feeling right then and there at that moment, is there any good that's gonna come out of it? And you're gonna know. And if there's no good that's gonna come out of it, then choose to hold your tongue. Sometimes there's circumstances or life where people hurt our feelings or do things or, or whichever, but you know what? To just feel and think and act and, and open your mouth and say things that maybe you're gonna be sorry for later, you gotta remember, man, you say some things and you cannot rewind those words. And, and is that what you wanna be known for? To be hurtful or make people feel bad? So choose to hold your tongue. And when you do, you're gonna, you're gonna pull back and you're gonna articulate your thoughts and your words. And when it is time to speak, you're gonna speak more gentle and, and have kinder and nicer things to say. And, and you're gonna get along with people so much better. So choose to hold your tongue. And in today's age too, you gotta watch out. You wanna choose to hold your fingers because text messages and emails, man, you pop off really quick. You cannot get that back. So choose to hold back. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. And I know you're strong, so I want you to practice this and choose to hold back. And you're gonna see how much more success you're gonna have in your relationships and with your employees, your boss, your coworkers, your family, your friends. So remember, choose to hold your tongue, choose to hold your fingers. You're gonna be happy you did.